So, <clears throat> this problem is about buying towels for college. Who has had a brother or sister or cousin or auntie or somebody you know go to college? They are buying way too many towels. I will just say that straight up. So set aside the context as a real life thing because you would buy one or two for college. Helen and Althea went shopping for towels to take to college. Helen bought four bath towels and three hand towels for how much? $72. They also are not buying the cheapest towels to go to college. While Althea bought three bath towels and six hand towels of the same kind for <clears throat> 84. How much does each type of towel cost? So as we set this up, we're going to make our let statements. Let B, it doesn't equal bath towels. It equals bath towel cost. What's the question we're being asked? How much does each type cost? So then we're going to do let H equal mm -hmm. hand towel cost. Now I'm going to set up the equations. There's one equation for each person. Picture this is like the equation is kind of their, their receipt at the store. <clears throat> we have Helen and she bought four bath towels and three hand towels for $72. <clears throat> what form is that in? And you have Althea, <clears throat> who bought three bath towels and six hand towels. I don't know who needs that many hand towels. For $84. Maybe she's using them in her kitchen too. I don't know. It's college. You do crazy things. Those are both in standard form. Now, I've already posted, I don't think I put it in your periods, but I will, a picture of my work, because I did this already. I did it using substitution. This gets back to the original question. <clears throat> I've got two equations that are in standard form and I'm being asked to solve for a single variable. I chose to solve for hand towel. Look at what I ended up with. A fraction is a coefficient. You guys know me and my feeling about fractions. I solved it, it's fine. But then in second period, we were like, why not use elimination? They're already in standard form and that's the first step for elimination, right? So when I look at this, I think, well, if I'm gonna try to eliminate the B term, those both have to be turned into a 12. One a positive and one a negative. If I look at the H term, they both need to be turned into a six. And one of them already is a six. That's less work, Yeah. right? This is already positive 6x, so I want to turn that one into the negative 6x. So I'm going to change my graphic organizer here. Instead of solving for a, a single variable, I'm going to eliminate a variable. And you guys saw my thought process. I looked at the coefficients and I decided this is my target. I want to get rid of the H term and turning the other one into the negative six is the thing that makes the most sense. <clears throat> so I'm going to take the first equation and I'm going to rewrite it down here. And I'm going to multiply that whole equation by negative two. How did I come up with the negative two? I need to turn the positive into a negative. I want to turn this three into a negative six. So I have to multiply everything by negative two. And I get negative eight B minus six H equals 
I, we calculated it in the second period. Okay, now I'm going to take that equation and I'm going to rewrite it over here. I'm not substituting and solve, I'm going to eliminate. I'm going to take negative 8b minus 6h equals negative 144. And I'm going to put the second equation underneath it. Oops, I'm not doing great with my arrows. That's going down here. And I'm going to add those together. I did all this math already. I'm hoping I have my example here so I do it right. Yep, it's right here. <clears throat> negative 8b and 3b is going to be <clears throat> negative 5b. Negative 6h, oops, and I put a b there. And positive 6h, they're eliminated. It's a zero. Equals negative 144 and positive 84. It's negative 60. Would I divide both sides by negative 5? B equals 12. That's half my solution. Bath towels are $12. I think you can get better deals at Target, just saying. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go back to one of my two original equations. And I'm going to substitute this 12 in for one of the B's, right? Do you guys want to use Helen or Althea? Yeah. Let's use Althea because I used Helen this morning. 3 times 12 plus 6H equals 84. I get 36 plus 6H equals 84. I'm going to subtract. I deleted an app on my phone and now everything is in the wrong place. I hate that. 84 minus 36 gives me 48. So 6H equals 48. What's my H equal? Hand towels are $8 each. Now maybe I was really cheap when my kids went to college, but I would have been like, what are you using all those hand towels for? Buy two bath towels and cut one in half. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. I'm trying to put some thrifty tips in your head. <clears throat> How can I check that? I can take the 12 and 6, or 12 and 8, and I can go back up to my original equations and say 4 times 12 plus 3 times 6 or 8, does that get me 72? And I can check it, right? Is there another problem in this that you guys had trouble setting up? Last call. This worries me. It means you all played Bingo Friday and went home and didn't think about this. Truth, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes. Do you have one? Okay. The, fifth the student tickets and all that? Great one to do. Everybody turn to the second problem. By the way, there is a single problem quiz on this tomorrow. Okay, read through this problem. Juan bought 15 student and non-student tickets worth $223.50 altogether. Dang. The question I get, did he buy 15 student and 15 non-student? No, he bought a total of 15 tickets. And the total of that sale was $223.50. The student tickets cost twelve fifty each, and the non-student tickets cost eighteen fifty each. How many of each ticket did he buy? 
okay? Now, common sense says to use student S and N for non. I don't like to use S because my S's always look like fives. <laughs> So when I did this, I said let x equal student, just so I wouldn't end up using a 5 wrong. <laughs> and I could make it y just to keep x and y together, but I made this n, let n equal non-student. <clears throat> Notice I'm not saying price. With the hand towel problem, we were being asked to find the price. What are we being asked to find this time? We know the price. It's in the problem. Do you see it? So, first thing we know, he bought X plus N, and that total was 15. Student plus non-student tickets, total of 15. And then we know that student tickets are twelve fifty. How much are non student? Money is in this one. So what am I going to equal on this? Now, <clears throat> these are both in standard form again. Elimination is not the way to go. I would have to turn this into negative 12 and a half x to eliminate the x term. I don't want to be multiplying by decimals. It just It's going to get messy, right? The easiest way to solve this is with substitution. Which of those two equations is easier to solve for a single variable? The first one. I'm not going to solve this whole thing with you, but <clears throat> which variable do we want to start with? Okay, so I'm going to subtract n from both sides. So I have 15 minus n. That means I now need to use my second equation. And where the x is, I'm going to put 15 minus n. If I solve this, I'm going to know how much non-student, how many non-student tickets were sold. And then it's easy to find how many student tickets were sold. Okay. So again, there is a single question quiz tomorrow on how the class is going to work tomorrow. I want you guys coming in with questions about any of these other problems. We'll go over it and take the quiz in the, like the last 15 minutes of class. Okay? No. No, you need to be ready.